Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be transformed from one type into another. This is sometimes confusing for students to understand. A rubber ball will bounce to nearly the height that it's dropped from. The dropper popper can bounce higher than its initial height. How is this possible? First, work must be done to deform the popper from its initial shape. When the popper abruptly returns to its original shape, it has more energy than a ball because of this added work. When held above the ground, the popper has elastic and gravitational potential energy. As it falls, the gravitational potential is converted into kinetic energy. When the popper hits the table, the elastic potential energy is released and it has extra kinetic energy. This extra energy is what allows the popper to rise above its initial height. The popper can be prepared for use by stretching it out a few times when you first get it. They are a bit stiff when new and need to be flexed back and forth a few times to get the best popping action. The popper can also be used as a launching mechanism for ping pong balls, marshmallows, or paper wads. Don't try this in the classroom. Discovering the concepts of potential and kinetic energy can be an exciting experience for students. Doesn't hurt that it's fun too.